questions to keep myself aligned. Waste away the hours doing what I should, knowing that my soul tells me it's not for my own good. So time. What is time? We always look at time as something that, you know, we do something that we have to go through all this stuff every single day. And ultimately, ultimately, time will weaken our body and we will die. You know, that's really in a, in a nutshell how we kind of look at time. But there's and there's only really one thing that can combat time. Hi, Joanne. There's only one thing that can really combat time. And that is, I don't know, things are just opening up on my screen here. The only thing that can really combat time is eternity. Right? Eternity. Eternity greets us. You know, when we finally pass or transition, eternity greets us and offers us joy. Joy. Um, in escaping the clutches of time. Because time is really an illusion. You know, when we think about time, we think about this 24-hour clock and how much we have to get done and 365 days a year, 52 weeks, you know, our average lifespan is this or that or, you know, and it's just we're thinking about time in this and there's never enough, you know, there's never enough time to get the things that we want to get done. So in the end, we just, we simply die, right? We transition. So I like to step out of time. I don't want to wait for an eternity, right? I don't want to wait until I transition to step out of time, right? I'm just going to choose to step out of time now. And I'm going to live in the now, in the present moment. I'm not going to live in the future. I am not going to live in the has been of my life. I am going to live in the present moment, in this time, right now. Because in these times are the only times that we can find joy. And if I'm, if I'm living in the past or I'm so concerned about what comes next, I'm not really going to be, I'm going to miss out on joy in my life completely, right? Interesting that you're, you're the one here that's here for me this morning, Joy. So you will miss out on joy completely, right? Because joy is only in the now. You can't plan for joy. Any joy that's gone is gone. You're not going to get that back, right? So it's only in this moment. So I choose to step out of time and just live in this present moment and try and stay present as much as I can all the time, right? So if you can stay present all the time, good morning, Terry. If you can stay present out of all the time, then you can step out of that trap that illusion of time so make a decision make a decision to live each day in truth and peace and love and smile at passing time because your timeless self that energy that you have within you that timeless self it does not have fear of death it doesn't worry about when it's time to transition right because it's infinite and it's forever and it doesn't just work on earth time all right you know, we get all up in our heads about time and we, time is the whole universe. That's why there is no time. There is no illusion because if we were somewhere else on a different planet in a different solar system living in a different galaxy, time would be very different for us. It would not be 24 hours, 365 days a year, right? Time is something that we, you know, need in this body to sort of measure what we're doing, but we don't have to worry so much about what's has been or the future, just kind of stay in the present. And that's how you can step out of this illusion of time. And we don't have to wait to die to enjoy eternity that way, right? We don't have to wait to die. We can actually start enjoying eternity right now, right? Because we're just not gonna worry about time, okay? So celebrate each day and every day, live in the now, not in the distant future, not in the past. Don't stare at the wake of your life. So think of your life. I've used this analogy with you guys a couple of times. You're in this speedboat, right? So you can sit at the back of the boat and watch the wake. That's already gone. There's nothing you can do about the wake. It's already, you've already driven through it, right? So you can either stare at the wake and worry about how am I gonna change the wake? You can stand at the very front of the boat, 
right? And, and look at your future, or you can stand and steer the boat and be in the now and deciding each moment what the next moment will bring, right? Just, just living in that moment and enjoying that moment and making the most of that moment and the next moment and the next moment rather than just being this human doing of, I gotta go to a soccer game, I've gotta go here, I've gotta go there, then I've got that appointment, and then I gotta go do this, and I've gotta go do that, and you're just, you're just this like, this just like human running, right? You're just running all the time, running, and you just gotta slow your roll because you're missing out on all the good stuff, right? You're missing out on all the good stuff while you're just doing things, okay? And then we look at all of our possessions, all the things that we want. We want a big a nice car, we want a big house, we want lots of money, we want nice clothes, nice, I have a big shoe person, so liking shoes and all this stuff. And, and if you look at all these possessions of things that we think that we own, I mean, we're only leasing them really, right? We don't own anything. It's like we pay this money to rent things. You know, people say, you know, don't rent, own. Really? How are you owning it? Are you taking it with you when you transition? Like, how are you owning this thing? You are not owning your house. You don't own your car. You don't own any of it. You're simply renting it. You're leasing it for a time period. And then you have to leave it here and go because when we pass, we don't take anything with us. We all know that, right? You know, the Egyptians used to fill the pyramids with people, you know, here's all the, here's all the gold and the treasures and the things that you can take to the afterworld. But or the afterlife and, and it's still there because nobody takes it because you can't. Right. So, <laughs> you know, all those things are still we're still in the pyramids later on. Right. Because you cannot take it with you. So you're leasing everything. So when you think about the possessions and what you must have and what are so important and, you know, if you think of it in this way that you really don't own it. I think that your priorities in life begin to change. Right? You begin to think about what really truly makes you happy. Hi, Rhonda. What truly makes you happy. So looking at all your possessions and all the struggles and challenges that you got to get that thing that you cannot take with you. That you cannot take with you. So it's time to make your peace with time. It's time to make your peace with time. And instead of worrying that there's not enough time, and becoming a victim to it, understand that it's an illusion. It is an illusion. We have been programmed to live that we're, the way that we're living, to keep up with the Joneses, to like have all this stuff. And we work really hard to have all this stuff. And we put ourselves in incredible debt to have all this stuff, right? So that we're just constantly, it's like this vicious circle, work, pay, work, pay, work, pay. And we're missing out. We're missing out. Imagine if this world was a very different place and there wasn't all this hype about the big houses and stuff and you just kind of lived in a whatever you built and, you know, enjoyed your life. You know, enjoyed the ocean, enjoyed the earth, enjoyed the trails, enjoyed food. You know, I met somebody the other day. Good morning, Kim. I met someone the other day and he said to me, he's, he's a chef. And he said to me something really, I hadn't thought about food this way. And he said, when you eat, when you eat his food, you feel emotions. You taste memories. How many of you really think about your food that way? Like where you can just take in this nourishment and it's like, oh, that just makes me happy. Right? Or... Oh, that reminds me of something or, you know, I, 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 it brings you into depths of emotion by just tasting food, right? So what a, what a wonderful way to look at food. So, but we're not doing this because we're so busy. We just stop at some takeout place. We're shoving the food down our face, right? You know, we're eating really fast. I know I do it. I eat like, and I'm trying, I got to slow my roll because I eat because I think of food as fuel. My body needs it, here it is. Okay, I gotta get back to work. You know, I gotta get back to the things that I'm doing in this moment. But now it's like, no, I have to slow down even more because I need to enjoy that meal, that nourishment that I'm bringing into my body. 
you know, and take my time with it, right? Because it's my time. It's my time that's an illusion, right? So, you know, I'm only going to be able to taste this exact same thing one time. So I just want to be able to savor it, right? So it's about really just slowing down and enjoying your life. So here's your challenges because you know that I love to give you challenges. Your first challenge is to practice truth. Practice truth. Live only the truth that resonates with you, not what you've been conditioned to believe. Okay? Live only the truth that resonates with you and not what you've been conditioned to believe. Not somebody else's truth. Live your own truth that feels good for you. Okay, that makes you feel content and relaxed inside. That's the truth that you want to live. It doesn't even matter if nobody else agrees. Maybe they're not living their truth. Maybe they're living a conditioned truth. It doesn't matter. You have to live the truth that feels good for you. Okay, and peace, right? Practice peace. Choose only the things that bring you inner and outer peace. If having that thing, that possession, is going to make you insane to get it, is it is it peaceful? Right? I mean, there are some possessions that we like to have, these things that make us feel good, right? But does it really make you feel good, or do you think that you have to have it in order to feel accomplished or to be successful? You know, are those beliefs, have they been conditioned into you? So those are the things that you need to start thinking about. Um, and practice love. So love, as much as you can give and feel love throughout the day and just subdue that feeling of hatred, of judgment and of anger. And every time you feel like you're in a situation where you're just going to like lose your shit in a second, it's like send it love and watch how the situation changes right so practice truth practice your peace and practice love these are the things that will help you live in eternity rather than living in this illusion of time and stay as present as you can stay in the most trying time send love these three things are timeless truth and peace and love are timeless all right, so that's how you can connect to your eternity. So that's just my quick video on time this morning, time and eternity, and you know how we struggle to have things. You know, we spend a lot of time having things, these possessions, all this stuff that we don't actually own because we don't own any of it. Um, you know, own is, owning something means that you can keep it forever, right? What do you have that you can keep for forever? The only thing you have are your memories. The only thing that you have is the stuff that's in your consciousness. All that information, all that energy that you, because information is energy. So all that information and energy that you have stored in your conscious mind, in your subconscious mind, these are the only things. That's the only thing that you're going to take with you. That's it. Right? Right? So when you think about it that way, how important are all the things? I mean, we all like to have some comfort, you know, but some of us go like way overboard. So, and, and we put ourselves in very bad situation to have it, right? So when you think about all those things and when you think about what are you really going to take with you when you go, how important is all this stuff? And what is it that you really want to leave behind? Right? So children, maybe. Right? Something for your kids. I get it. Right? But at the end of the day, it's the same thing. Right? We're all only here for a limited amount of time in this body. But our, we go on forever and forever. So we have to think about those possessions and think about, you know, those things that we don't own. And why are make, we making ourselves nuts for this? Okay, so yes, it's wonderful to succeed in life and to show all of your success and all of that is great. But don't forget to live. 
Don't forget to live in the present, in the right now. Okay, so practicing truth and peace and love and those things are timeless. So that's that's my that's my blurb with for you guys today. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you again tomorrow morning. See you later. Have a fantastic day. Show yourselves love. A nice big hug. Hi, Mindy. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Look at my reflection in the mirror. I see that is not the person who lives inside of me. I'm shedding all the crap right now I'm stepping in